I'm going to take you through two basic ideas of how you can set up your Google Classroom. One basic idea is I already have set up for my class a daily agenda. Maybe you, you do this on Google Slides um, and you post kind of the agenda and the links for the day. Maybe you do it like this where it's, you know, the date, here's what we're going to do, here are the class activities, here's what you need to complete. Um, but I'm just, I have this Google Doc and then the way you're going to set the, up your Google Classroom is you're going to share this with your students. So I have this called Test Class Agenda. So in my classroom, so here's my test class here. My, my class for training. I'm going to go into the classwork and I'm going to do create and I'm probably this is going to be um, static meaning the students can't edit this so I'm going to click here on material and I'm going to say here is class agenda with links. Then I'm going to click add it here and I'm going to go to my Google Drive and it may come up in my recent so here's my test class agenda otherwise I could search for it I could click in my drive for it but test class agenda and I click add so I'm now adding this and then I come over here I can click adding it to my test class here I haven't created topics but I could put it for topics if I want to and then I'm gonna just post it then what will happen is students will uh, see in their stream they will see this here and on the classwork page again I haven't used topics they will just see it at the top here and then I will just be telling my students when you come to my class you're just gonna click on this and when you click on this you're gonna be able to see today's date um, obviously you won't use today and tomorrow you'll use the actual dates and what the activities are and then you will have linked the activities in there so if I'm a student who's absent every day the routine the teacher just could have this um, you could have this same document for multiple classes so if you teach three sections of the same class you could use this for all three classes and again the students don't have editing rights to it they can view and they can use the links on this so that is one way you could set up your um, Google classroom Another way is you could use Google Classroom and set stuff up every day. So if you're gonna set stuff up every day, what it's gonna look like is the following. So again, I'm gonna go back to my classes page. So um, here is my classes page. And I'm gonna go in and I wanna say, here's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna go into classwork. And again, maybe I want to do this as an assignment. Maybe I'm going to do this as material. There'll be other videos kind of talking about the difference with that. I'm going to actually do it as, as an assignment. And so today's assignment um, and activities. Again, I would probably put the date on there. Um, I would come over here to put a due date. So due date, and I'm going to click this due date here. So it's going to say it's due um, when I want it due. Um, again, what's confusing is due date versus when you post it. So I'm posting it now, um, but this is when it is due. And then I can put instructions in here. Now I'm going to go back to my agenda. And if I copy this, this is nice. I copy this stuff here and I can just paste it in my instructions. Notice none of the hyperlinks came up. So this is one of the downfalls of Google Classroom is that I have to now add those links below. So I'm going to go back here and if I click on this link here, okay, I now have my article that I want my students to read. So I'm going to copy that article and then I'm going to add the link to that article here. So I have read this web page and I'll maybe type here see first link below. Okay. Then it says open this document and submit answers to your teacher. So I have this document here. So I'm going to document and this document is called questions for class and it's a Google Doc. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add here. Again, it's going to come up in my recents because I just opened it, which is really nice. Otherwise, again, I could search for it up in my drive. I'm going to click there. And notice I have options here. Students can view this file so they can just look at it. 
students can edit the file. This would be one file that every kid in the class edits. Um, and there are instances for that. As a science teacher, maybe we gather data in a lab and then we're, we're uh, collecting everybody's data to make graphs. That would be an instance for this, okay? Or make a copy for each student. Something like this, I want them to turn it into me. I'm gonna say make a copy for each student. And um, then the last thing is complete the Google form. I'm not even gonna worry about, I'm gonna just say, I want you to read this article and then if you look at what this document is here, questions is they're actually gonna be typing claim evidence and reasoning on here and I'm gonna want them to submit this back to me, okay? So here is what they're doing today. Here's a due date um, and here are the two links below. So open and I said this document, open maybe the second link link below and submit answers to your teacher okay so now I have this set the links are below it's making a copy for each student and now I'm gonna go ahead and assign it what this is gonna do is now for today the students know what today is notice I had to spend a little bit extra time putting in the directions and the links and things like that However, what the power of this is going to be is for students, when they come here, it's gonna show a due date for that and exactly that assignment. So if kids struggle with um, when things are due and you'd like to post things every day, and you are welcome to use this system. If you um, prefer to just have an agenda and have the students go to that, you're welcome to do that. Hey everyone, here's a quick video on how I use Google Classroom. So the first thing that I do is, rather than set up my classes, I actually set up a template class. This is an area where no students are going to be in this class, um, but all of my classwork is in here. So you'll notice that in my consumer ed template class, I've already preloaded all the different uh, work that I'm going to be giving students throughout the year. Um, this allows me an opportunity to organize everything um, without students seeing assignments early. From there, if you notice, I'm going to go, I'll pop over into an actual class. I tend to keep my stream off so uh, students don't have access to the stream, can't um, post anything here um, and I don't tend to post anything there. That forces them to go into the classwork uh, tab right here where they can see exactly what I have done. If I want to pull something in from my template class I can just click on the create, reuse post and then I can find that template course that I have right here. Because of how I organize things by week I have everything right here from the, I can go right down here from the first things that we've done at the very beginning of the year all the way down here. So it's in very easy chronological order and it allows me to pull things in very quickly. Um, I tend to use due dates and just make everything due on Fridays so that I have a chance to uh, grade them over the weekend, but having due dates uh, for all of my assignments really helps my students know when I expect assignments to be due. Um, it puts the it puts those assignments on their to-do list and it also puts it on their Google calendar. Okay, hopefully you kind of got some ideas from this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hi everyone, I am going to show you um, how I organize my Google Classroom. Um, I did just make a test class, so um, it might look a little bit different, but I didn't want to um, overwhelm anyone with what my actual class looks like. So here's the main screen of Google Classroom. Um, I'm going to show you how I um, post my assignments by unit. Um, so I'll walk you through that. So the first thing I do is I hit classwork. I'm then going to hit plus create, click assignment, and then um, name it with any sort of instructions. Say, um, please complete the handout and turn in. And then if I wanna add it from my Google Drive, I just click add and you'll see all this through some of the other training, but just to give you a, a quick overview, so here I just did um, a quick uh, test document. Um, I'm gonna 
let students be able to edit, or I'm sorry, make a copy for each student so they all have their own copy. I'm going to go over here. If I'm going to change the points, I can change it here or if it's ungraded. Um, here's where I put in my due date. I'm going to say it's due tomorrow um, at midnight. And then here's where I organize it most through um, topics. Um, so my topics are my units. So I didn't put in um, a topic. I just wanted to show you how I hit create topic and hit unit one or I can name it whatever. Um, and that is, then I have access to be able to do that. So up here I can hit assign to all students. So I hit assign. I don't have any students in this classroom just yet. So I will make sure that it works. So then if you look, you can see my topics are listed here on the left hand side, unit one. And then I have unit one here. So just so you can see what it looks like with multiple units, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to create an assignment. Um, assignment number two complete and hit turn in. I'll add my assignment here. And as you can see, I can pull it from my driver, um, just whatever document was uploaded recently. Again, I'm going to say make a copy for each student. Um, let's say I want to make this one 10 points so I can change it. It automatically defaults to my 100. My due date um, let's say I want to make it due Friday and I want it due at the start of my class at 9 a.m. Now again, just if I have two units, if I'm on my second unit, I can either click on that it belongs with unit one or again I can create my second topic which will be unit two. And then I can um, go up here and I can hit assign. And then once that's loaded, again, you can see how the units are organized. So it goes through what's the most recent unit up first. Um, it shows in the stream, but again, it's also in classwork by unit. And if you wanna see what it looks like, um, because I did um, some assignments, um, I can go to all of my classes and you can see that it's shown right here. So that's just one way that you can organize your Google Classroom by units. Um, so I hope that helped. Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to go over with you how I use Google Classroom as a landing spot for my students, uh, but I also use a daily slides to keep everything organized for them. So when I'm within a unit, um, I post a material link to my daily slides, which is here. And so material just means that students can only view it and cannot edit it. So for each unit, I have a daily slides and I post that for the students. And then if you head over to look at what that might look like. So on a given day, um, since we're in e-learning, I have links to their Google Meets, links to the warm-up, their target tracker where they copy down targets. And all of these links I can describe really easily and um, put them in my daily slide instead of putting them into Google Classroom because they're not really turning anything in with these links. Um, so um, another thing I do is I have a homework slide. And so here you can see I said open the doc um, with that name in GC, Google Classroom, and write using Kami. And so I can very um, explicitly describe what they need to do um, before they do uh, this activity. They need to watch some Ed puzzles, which are also linked in Google Classroom. So a landing spot for my students is this set of daily slides, activities in class, and homework. And then this is followed up in Google Classroom with uh, the materials they need. 
So that might be something that they're all editing, lab data. Um, it might be a link to the Ed Puzzle like that. Um, and so on. I use Google Classroom to post assignments that I want turned in by every student, or maybe just a few students. So here's what that would look like. Here is a packet that they're working on. And if I view the assignment, then every student's work is here. And I can go in and grade individual students' work using Classroom. as it slowly loads. Um, yeah, so uh, that is basically how I use Google Classroom as um, a place to post things that students need to interact with. And then um, on a daily basis, they refer to these uh, daily slides with links and explanations, and I can organize it very nicely here and explain their homework assignment on one slide rather than having multiple entries in Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful.